arms over his head. Now, he says it puts his family in danger in Ethiopia, but a government official says that's far from the case. Well, let's get more on this. We're joined now by David McKenzie in Johannesburg. Hi there, Dave. Our CNN.com article starts with the question, did this medalist turn himself into a political exile after that marathon? what he did, because he's already saying in interviews, uh, Robin, that he cannot go back to Ethiopia because he can be, quote, killed because of this dramatic moment uh, as he finished that marathon in the silver medal position, raising his hands above his head and making a cross-like uh, signal that has been used by protesters both in Ethiopia and in the diaspora of the Romeo group. Uh, now, he has said uh, that this is a group that he wants to uh, show his solidarity with. He is part of the Romo ethnic uh, ma uh, majority that say mm. that for years they've been uh, let out of the political sphere in Ethiopia. And recently there have been violent uh, crackdowns on protests, both in the capital and outside of the government. He said this was his moment to show that he supported the cause and he says he's afraid to go back. But we spoke to the uh, communications minister in Ethiopia. He said, in fact, uh, that he is. Uh, allowed to have his statement. He's, they said that he has nothing to fear going back, nor does his wife and two children. Robin? And what does the IOC have to say about political protest? Well, IOC has a long-standing uh, tradition, or it's in the charter, in fact, that there shouldn't be these political uh, statements or symbolism made at the Olympics, uh, that this is an apolitical event. We both know that that historically hasn't been the case, of course. You had the famous Black Power salute after the 200-meter finals where two American athletes raised their clenched fists. That saw them thrown out of the Olympics by the IOC. There have been other incidents following that. It will be interesting to see whether IOC takes any uh, decision against uh, this Ethiopian athlete, at this point, they've been very quiet, uh, but certainly he is now potentially in this catch-22 in Brazil, saying he's too afraid to go back, but doesn't have visas to go anywhere else. So maybe, yes, he is putting himself into exile with this uh, dramatic stand right on the final day of the Olympics. Robert? Okay. Thanks so much, David McKenzie. They're coming to us from Germany. Appreciate it. Well, the International Criminal Court has ruled destroying cultural 